Welcome to Brainstorm Sessions Part 5. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Uh, we have really, really cool information that grew two of our channels over 100% just in the last two weeks. It's ridiculous. So without further ado, let me jump right into it here. Brian from Black Seed, I'm going to bring you up first. We'll hold on for narcs in a minute. Uh, let me go ahead and pop you up. Let me know how your channel grew over 100% and what you did to accomplish it. Absolutely. So as you know, my channel is about building trucks and it's also attending events, right? And and now that the, see the side it's on, now that the truck is, uh, well, just about streetable, um, we'll be out to more events and, and doing more of this stuff. So the strategy going into this was uh, a few things. Um, and know that this was over a five week span. If we go back to our last brainstorm session, I had 270 subscribers. As of an hour ago, I had 410. Um, so I, I went into this event and I'm going, what do I need to do to double my numbers? I know what Dino's did for me and LST is just as large of a truck show with 2000 trucks and, uh, you know, when the weather's great, there's tens of thousands of people. I, I don't know how many come through the gate, but it's huge. Um, there's a couple things that I started with. One, I know from the Dino's event, um, I call it the flash, okay? So it's you, you have a set moment to get it out there when people want to see the trucks, when they want to see the information. You, you have a small window for that um for it to hit its hottest point okay and that's that's the dudes at work on friday um while you're at the show they want to see the cars they're searching facebook they're searching all the groups trying to figure out you know what's who's at the show that type of thing um same with saturday same with the people who leave the event at night they're they're looking up uh, this event was lone star throwdown so they're looking up lone star throwdown and just going through um going through truck videos stuff like that so i know that's that the flash is where my growth opportunity is now the video may still perform later i still may pull viewers off of it however right now um i need to make it happen that's why i did it dino's so my new strategy was and dino's let me back up dino's I was filming all day, recording at night, and I dropped a video every night, a uh, 20 minute video, all the editing, everything like that. And when you go out and search YouTube, I was the only one doing it at night. I was the only one doing it every single night. And then the video started piling up after. So, so I know I have to hit the flash. The other thing I'm doing on this, I didn't, well, I did on Dino's for a month. But for two months prior to this event, I was forward tagging. So I've I've been tagging that event on everything that I've been doing, and I've been putting it in uh, titles and the tag and descriptions. I've also been building it up on uh, Instagram when I post. Um, so forward tagging, I just I I don't know how that plays into the end algorithm, but I feel that. If I tag something 200 times before people start looking for it, then maybe that puts me out in front, right? And that's what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, that's a great point. And, and I do believe it, it helps with the algorithm because as you said, when they start searching LST, you already have been there. You were there a month before anybody even tried to look for it for, you know, and it's definitely gonna pop you up. Yeah, abs absolutely. So. So forward tagging and uh, and then and then working that that set moment in time that's going to give you the highest amount of return. Um, the the other thing that I did is, as part of this strategy, and, and let me tell you, I was two seventy two weeks ago. However, we we were thrashing on this truck. I, we did some lives. I was in quite a few lives last week um, before the event. Had quite a few people over here. I don't know if you've watched Narcoleptics live or Destroyers, but we, we had a house full and everybody just took a separate piece and we got the truck to where it was. Um, unfortunately, it didn't go because it, the radiator had a hole in it and 
the sealant on the intake wasn't cured and started blowing oil out the valley of uh, of the front of the intake. So a couple quick items to fix. We just ran out of time. However, um, because I was building up to LST, when I left, I had uh, 292, 294 sub. Um, and that was on Thursday morning. So two night two, just shy of 300. Um, and again, I'm at 410 as of a couple hours ago. And it's it's a small channel. Now, we're talking something. You have 5,000 people, you know, pulling 100, 150 people. X new is probably not as hard as it is when your channel, uh, you know, is almost uh, pulling a third of, of the viewers new. So yeah, there's that's, that. that's so, a really good point too, because you have less eyes that know who you are or what you're doing. So as a smaller channel, it is hard to get that rapid growth where if you have 2,000, 3,000 people and you do this same formula, I imagine, and eventually we'll get there and we'll have more advice on it once we are bigger. But um, yeah, I, I can definitely, yeah, we have a smaller channel that that's helped out huge, man, just just doing that. But I could see yeah, it as you grow, it gets you know, multiply. Yeah, it's, sure. it's, uh, yeah. And strategies change along the way. I, I w I'm going to sidetrack a little bit here. I'm going to tell you one of the coolest things is I'm saying in the truck, we're cruising, man. There's so many people that you just set in trap, you know, in cruise traffic and you just kind of inch forward and go along. But we, we had all the windows down and we heard someone yell out black seed. And, and we're like, wow, that's, Okay, that's cool. We got a viewer out there somewhere. Um, yeah, so that was pretty neat. Um, and then, uh, so so 410, how did we do it? What was the strategy? So forward tagging, hitting the flash. The other thing I wanted to do, trying to get out ahead of everybody, because I knew, okay, this event, there's potential that people my size are getting uh, – are getting their videos right at night. They're cranking out videos. So I have to expect that coming into the next morning, if I don't have a video out, there'll be 15 videos already out. So I wanted to get ahead of that. And I started before I left the house, I started dropping shorts. My goal was I'm going to have a hundred shorts out there. When people are traveling, when people are there, if they're hitting Lone Star Throwdown, LST, any of my tag, that it's going to hit my shorts. Um, so I started before I even left. There was a couple of shorts here at the truck and then shorts uh, along the way as I started seeing vehicles. In total, my goal was 100. In total, I put out 70 shorts. And uh, man, I thought it'd be easier than it was. There's there's a couple of things. It's the first time I've done shorts. I, I don't do TikTok or anything like that, so I don't. I've uh, never shot any of that stuff. And I didn't realize you had to be so far off a car just to kind of get a good angle on it, to get a good piece of it. I was probably 15 yards off every car if I wanted to try to get a nice three-quarter shot in the video. And as you see some of my early ones in the shorts, I'm, I'm way too close on the vehicle. Um, also, I know some viewers don't like that vertical – you know, vertical view, but on it. Yeah. And, and that drives me nuts. But I'm like, if I can get a good 30 seconds and some of them were shorter too, I thought I was shooting longer, but then you look at it and you're like 20 seconds. But, um, you know, if I'm seeing a car cruising around and I've been watching them today and I'm going, man, that's not, that's not bad. And if I'm stuck in an office or whatever, I'm working for, and I can't leave to the event until Saturday, those shorts are kind of neat because I can get a glimpse of the show stuff cruised around on Friday from my laptop, and uh, and that kind of fills a need, right? Um, hey, re real quick, uh, while you're talking about that, do you still have those videos on your phone? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Maybe, okay. maybe some. Maybe, I got to look. The the only reason I was saying that is because you've already done the work. You might as well start your TikTok account and just throw them over there. Drop it. Yeah. Yeah. The just, um, I'll have to check. One of, one of the things is my phone was running out of memory. I'm like, are mm -hmm. you freaking kidding me? 
so I was having to delete a bunch of stuff, but they may be in trash. Um, yep. So doing the shorts and then cutting the video at night. So now if you, now the thing that I saw was um, the next day when I'd come in, people were dropping videos at night. So there's a, there's a ton, even though like Grinder TV, which will make, you know, the most professional super video for LST in three weeks from now, dude, there's, there's 30 videos out there right now and uh, 70 uh, shorts at least. Um, so, and I will say, looking at the numbers earlier, let's see here, the 410, um, it, it's hard to tell exactly what the last seven days brought, uh, but total videos, oh, I can tell you total views of my shorts and my two videos. My two videos was one from LST, no, I take that back, three videos. Right before I left, I dropped um, a header wrap video. I started dropping shorts. I dropped a accu or a um, airlift performance uh, review of my air management. I dropped an LST video. I'm working on an LST video now. I got enough for like two or three more videos. But uh, of the 70 shorts, the three videos, uh, 51,680 total views. Wow. And if I look at last 28 days, I've had 58,000 views, 171 additional subs, and 667 watched hours. That's, That's awesome. awesome. That's really cool. So so what I'm getting is, uh, let's see. So you like to get hit in the shorts. Um, no, you, you like to drop your shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Narks and I were cracking. Sorry, it's just as it's funny when we're watching because yeah. you're thinking of it as the short video, and I just picture you dropping yeah. your shorts to get yeah. views. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm coming up. I'm taking notes here because we're gonna do like a for a video formula for this, right? Like we had the growth hack video. Uh, and I'm trying to come up with a name, and I think drop your shorts is the best formula name ever. That's a touchdown. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's going places right there. Yep, yep. For sure. So I'll also, I'll also say this. Um, all those people that are that are grinding out videos, and, and after this, you may see a bunch of them grinding out shorts. Um, I'm hitting them up because their channel is just like us, and they're trying to grow. So I'm hitting them up, letting them know I followed, checking out their videos, asking them, come check out mine. And – so I've pulled some viewers from that, but uh, and not only viewers, people, YouTube people, I'm gonna run into next year. And it's it was crazy at this event. This is also what I'll say, and then that we'll we'll have to do a whole different LST uh, event coverage. But uh, there were so many people running around with cameras and GoPros, and I'm I'm trying to watch them and see what equipment they have, and you know. Gimbals set up on picnic tables with Canon D50s and all uh, crazy backpack rigs, everything you can think of. So there'll probably be a ton of videos on this drop over the next couple of weeks on that. Well, and that'll only help your channel. Right. And it, here's the main thing about going into dropping that, that many short videos <laughs> is – uh, I, I said it in a Facebook post earlier or a Facebook comment. It's about like guerrilla warfare for SEO, right? Yeah. It's hammer the tags, max the tags for Lone Star. Write a good description so you don't have to write one every time and get your titles right. So if you can do that, you can move quickly through it. And then all of that, just as, as all those Lone Star throwdown videos start dropping from everyone else, your stuff is in there and YouTube says, Hey, those guys have 80 videos from the event. So. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to bring up is to make sure when you go to do an event, go into YouTube studio and you want to add the tags because you can add tags under your description mm -hmm. that we went through. I think it was part two or was that part one that we dropped that you watch one of our earlier brainstorm videos to find out exactly where you go in YouTube studio to have it where it defaults whatever you type in there when you go to upload a video. So it'll automatically have your tags in there. It'll have your description in there. It'll even have your title in there. And then you just add, you know, whatever you want to that title. Mm -hmm. That will save you the time when you go to upload those. Plus, if you have the common hashtags in that before you go to the event, 
every one of your videos, you can add a couple more hashtags to it, but all of the original ones will stay the same. And I actually suggest that anytime you upload a video as having common tags that reflect what your channel is about, even though it doesn't reflect the video, then you can just add those tags that reflect the video on top of them. But yeah. then whenever somebody looks it up, it automatically pulls your, your stuff up. So just another little, little tip. That, that's a really good idea. And I, I just realized all the videos that I've gone through, um, most of them, like outside of playlists, probably don't even match. So, you know, Narcoleptic Customs wouldn't be in our tag uh, bundle in those if it didn't fit because of the, the video. Hmm. Yeah, just, just something to think about. And I actually learned that from another bigger YouTuber. You know what I mean? Just yeah. me randomly watching tips and tricks, which is, you know, part of how we make yeah. content for the show is we look at everybody. What are they saying? How are they doing it? And, you know, try to brain meld everything together. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So, Mike, you want to go ahead and jump in and let us know how your week went and what's going on? Or last two weeks. Sorry, I forgot. Yep. We we're doing every so other now. So I'll run through mine pretty quick. Mine is not nearly as cool as you guys uh, this this time, but uh, we're working towards cool stuff next time. So I uh, grew 77 people in two weeks on Instagram because I just have been lazy on it. Uh, gained 81 subs on YouTube, which is a big plus. And then I paid $80, paid $40 per video for four days. So $10 a day per video. Uh, and gained 1,500 video views total across the two of them and seven subscribers. So for those two videos, the Google ads did not work for me. Now that is completely opposite of what has worked for Eric. Um, he had one just blow up and it worked great. So I'm going to formulate a video that'll be specific for my ads. That'll basically be a five or six minute commercial for the channel. Uh, and use that and actually advertise it. So, and then I'll keep it unlisted and we can physically watch the, um, physically watch the numbers from that and how it grows. So, yeah, that's, that's a really good point. Cause you can throw a lot of money away. I've thrown a lot of money mm -hmm. on Facebook ads and other stuff that didn't net me anything. Yep. So yeah, narrowing yep. down where, where you spend your money on your channel. And I, I have spent quite a bit of money on my channel throughout the last year and a half. So, yep. um, you know, spending it wisely definitely will help everybody who watches these videos. Yep. Yep. That's for sure. So that's, I mean, that's really my, my updates. I am, if people have been watching the last couple episodes, uh, you know, I've always preached the um, titles, descriptions, tags, thumbnails. I'm through three of my playlists and I'm now working on just basically, not, I'm not going to call them random videos, but videos that don't necessarily fall within a playlist. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, that's my updates for this time. <laughs> Don't you? Oh, sorry. yeah. Well, and there's a one before I move into anything that has to do with the numbers or what I've done. Uh, I did also want to say I would love to help uh, Brian with Black Seed get your, your channel banner up mm -hmm. and get your playlist. So let me, let me see if I can actually pull it up. I want the viewers to see it. I know we covered it a long time ago, and I know, Narcs, you preach constantly about playlists and getting that stuff. Yeah. And I just want to, I want to show basically a before and after. So let me. Yeah. So for the folks that don't follow two weeks ago, we said that Brian needed to do all that. And he has literally not had time. Like we, we, the live feed was three and a half hours at his house and we had an hour of working on it before and almost an hour of working on it after we turned the live feed off. I, yeah. did, I did get the playlist going. You did mention to bring my playlist into the videos. I'm, I'm not so sure how to do that. So I'll have to walk through that with you. Yep. Yeah, we can okay. work on that. So let me let me pull up the screen. I'll show you guys what we're talking about here. Okay. So here's what I see from on my computer. And I know it ends up falling over into the phone as well but here's all I see for it. So right now I see a bunch of shorts. All it says is uploads. So if I'm looking at this, I don't know you went to Lone Star Throwdown, but if I go over to your playlist, let me click here, I have a Lone Star Throwdown playlist. But if I'm not, if I don't touch that, it's not gonna pull it up. So we'll have to go in here and make your playlist underneath, and then we'll get you set up with a banner up here. Yep, hang on just real quick. 
Yeah. Um, Eric, can you pull up your channel just yeah. side by side that? Because I want people to understand how, like if they look at Brian's channel and then they look at your channel or another channel that's coming, look at, look at the difference there. Right. So Brian, you're, you have good shit on your channel. Very right? good. So does, so does Eric. Right. But if you, if they end up on your page because of that, and this, this goes for anybody listening that, that doesn't, that falls into this category and they look at your page, they may be like, Oh man, this guy's small time where we know you're not going to be small time. Well, you know, and how many videos you have? Because as you saw, you only had the one row of videos. It doesn't look like you have much content. Yep. Right. Yep. So that's where the layout I'm using. Well, first of all, I have a banner. And then uploads. I have my welcome video up here. Mm -hmm. uh, uploads, popular uploads, because people want to see your best work. And then I have the car, car YouTuber tips and tricks, which is where this is located. And then I have content by type. So if somebody wants to watch drag racing, they click here and they watch all drag racing. They want to watch, you know, my 1320 stuff, live shows, USRL, car shows. I have all of that listed down here. Yep. And and you can have videos across multiple playlists and it would still pull up fine. Like a yep. lot of like the, the brainstorm stuff ends up on two of our playlists. It ends up on, um, I think we have it as uh, car tuber growth and then we have it under Narcolep tech tips as well. Let me see if I can pull this up real fast here, but okay. So I just went to analytics and I'm in the dashboard. Uh, let me try and remember how to do this real quick. Uh, I believe I just go to settings. Uh, here's, here's the default upload I was talking about under settings, upload defaults. This is where, if you scroll down here, see right here is where I add tags. I currently don't have any set up because I change all the time. If I'm going drag racing, mm -hmm. I'll do that. If I'm doing, so I have mine set up once again on a Word document, kind of like we were doing before, but I pop it in here. And then if I have two, three videos, it automatically will have them in there. Yep. So, yep. so, so we did that with Brian's channel um, beforehand, but we didn't get the, I didn't get the tags done in time. And what we, what we may do as a group of the three of us, is if someone's at an event like that, like log the other two in and like folks go, you know, we would go in and add some tags or change a description or whatever, because like what would happen, I can only imagine what's going to happen when I go to Cletus and Cars is like, you're still trying to attend the event and enjoy it. You just don't have time <laughs> because you're <laughs> loading, you know, 80 videos in two days. Oh yeah. So it's, because, because the other yeah, side of it is YouTube hasn't made it any easier to load videos. They just want people to drop all their shorts. <laughs> I love that. So I found it. So all you do is go to YouTube creator studio and on the side, when you go to your dashboard, so it'll pop up. This will be the first page you see, go down to customization on the left, click that. And this is how you lay out your channel right here. So right there, it says layout. I have a channel trailer at the top here. Um, featured sections. If I click add section, I can pick whatever I want from my playlist or I can add a new playlist. And that's what shows up on your main homepage. And then I already have these laid out. If I wanted to pull something else up, I can grab the side here, drag it up, or I can add a complete new section. So this is where you do that. And then branding, which is the next tab over at the top, is where you have your profile photo, your banner, which your banner takes a minute. You got to play with it to get the size right. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I'd, I'd suggest having your main meat and potatoes of your, your logo or whatever in the middle, because otherwise you'll go to different devices and you won't see anything. But check all of your devices after you add a banner. Just a little tip on that. And then at the bottom, I have watermark the video. So I have a watermark on there. So if somebody likes what they're seeing, they just click the little YouTube thing and it takes them for a subscription. Okay. So right here's where you want to uh, go and update that stuff. Your basic info. Last time I'll, I'll go over this. I know we went one more time, but this is where they come in. And if people actually care to read, they can read what your channel's about. 
Uh, this is where you set your custom URL. I remember you've already done that. You changed your URL uh, on the first one. But then this is where you can add your links to buy any shirts, your Instagram. Ah, I need to add my TikTok, which I'll do later because I just opened a TikTok, my Destroyer 1320. Quick plug. Yep, yep. Saw that the other day. Yep. And then the links on banner, you can set how many links you add on your banner. So I can have up to five links right now. And then I have my contact info as my email address. So anyway, that's where that's at. And let me go back to the channel dashboard. We jumped another 12 subscribers on my channel since we started this. God, that's awesome. So uh, 205 in the last 28 days. So let me, uh, let me spill the beans here. Let me shut this down. So what I did, and some people may not be happy with it. Um, to me, this is, this is my business now. This is what I'm growing into my business, into my brand. So I actually hired a promotion company for my channel. I did a lot of research, making sure I found the right one. Uh, the one I chose is useviral.com. Useviral.com. Uh, you can actually set how many, how many subscribers you want to add to your channel and you pay the fee and they will find the subscribers interested in your content. That's where I chose them over other ones because other ones will, they'll get you subscribers, but they're going to unsubscribe in a week because, you know, it's, you know, Maddie's pots and pans. She doesn't care about my car. She'll probably get a little spiff. I don't know how they do it for, for gaining the subscribers. I do know that they use, when you're watching a video and the little thing pops up on this corner while you're watching the video and there's an ad for the next video or there's an ad, they actually use the YouTube ads as part of their promotion for you. Now, the, the promotion on that is all through YouTube. So you may actually, in one of your videos, you may see a promotional thing for my channel pop up and you'll get paid because they're using that in, in one of those things. But that's who I am using. Um, I wanted to jump off the plank and see if this worked first. Uh, I went and invested some money into it and we'll see what the fruit is from that money. Um, I'm, the reason why I chose to do it this way, I'm heading to the YouTube call out to in Texas, April 10th. I am trying to boost my channel as hard as I can before I get there. Mm -hmm. So that as many people as I can watch the videos of that, of the big showdown slash YouTube call out too, because I know that's going to be a really big one for my channel. Um, I know you have Cletus and Cars coming up. Any way to boost yourself before you go to those events, I think is a win-win for everybody. Yeah. Because you get people, more people watching your channel and you're the one bringing the content. Some people won't bother searching the content. They'll wait for it to pop up in suggested videos. This promotional company helps bring you into that suggested video box. So once again, that's why I'm using them. I want to see when this ends, where, it's, where it tops out, and then how many subscribers I get from going to those events. And I have uh, three, four different big events coming up, and there may be more, but four huge events. That is where you will grow your channel. I mean, I don't care if you're, you're Johnny Clyde Eats. Go and find that little Italian festival that they have where you go and try all the things from Italy. You will grow your channel. If you're a knitter, if you're a whatever, you are a gamer, go to those big events. Do the content correctly. You know, make sure you, you talk to the event people to make sure you, you can get a media pass if they need one. There are some other things you'll have to look at, but the huge events, man, I'm telling you, that brings people to your channel. And then when there's no events, because we're just coming out of winter right now, over winter time, people would watch the heck out of all your videos because they're stuck in the house. Mm -hmm. And if you've preloaded videos from the summer and you're ready to go, they'll jump on and start watching those. So that'll help push you through the summer before there's more events again. And that's at least what, what I've been using. Yeah. Sorry, I had a ramble there. <laughs> well, and like, so for us, you know, we've had like the events that we've attended, Rocky Mountain Racing was definitely the largest and 1320 video was everywhere. So, you know, we were always trying to be close to those guys because you never knew what was going to happen. And I mean, we gained 400 subscribers that week. Uh, you know, I mean, the events, events work. And I think using the formula that Brian had, I think can only work better because you are first. You may not be the best video out there, but your short videos are just, I mean, it's SEO guerrilla warfare. Like you are hammering people, you're hammering the system. 
everything that they do, your name is in with all of that other SEO stuff. So exactly. And that's the biggest, the biggest thing for an event is speed to market. Mm -hmm. Make sure your hotel has Wi-Fi. Make sure you have something that can get you out. Because even when we were at uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week, I had a couple of times where it was hard. If I didn't leave the event a little bit early, it was really hard for me to do it because everybody else who was doing YouTube at the time was mm -hmm. going right back to the hotel and hopping on. So everybody's trying to load videos and it just crushed their internet. <laughs> oh yeah. And Hey, I lived that. I mean, there were three nights in a row where I was up till three o'clock editing and loading the video because I, my computer would go to sleep and it wouldn't finish loading the video. There was one morning I got up, I went to sleep at two 30 and got up at four to load the video. And then the fourth night, I mean, we were on the road from Tulsa to uh, back to Great Bend. I should have just went live then. So, you know, I think I think what we'll work on is live feeds uh, throughout the night. I mean, maybe even live feeds as you're editing the video, going live, talking about the day, letting people that are driving in, you know, Brian going down early. I think that would have been a, a great episode uh, Friday if you had been back at the hotel, say seven, and you're editing, you know, to throw the live feed up on a, another computer or on your phone or whatever, and be talking with folks as you're editing the video. Mm. You know, yeah, so that, that's a good thing too, because for me, when I watch those type of events, I want to look at it as I've never been to Load Star Throwdown. I don't know mm -hmm. if I want to go. Is it worth my time to fly over there because I'm not there and, and pay the money and get the ticket and walk through the door? What do I get? Because yep. that's what helps promote. Lone Star Throwdown, that's what helps, you know, experience people of it. I mean, is it going to be cool? Or is it going to suck? Because yep. there are events that I've been to and the video looks like it was really cool. It was boring as hell. But I made a cool video. <laughs> the cars that did run, the 10 that they had there made great runs and it made for a cool looking video. But there was an hour where people blew up the track and it was terrible. Yep. I want to be able to share the experience with people of events where when you walk in the door, here's what you get. Yep. Yep, that's a great idea. And for Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0 this year, we're going to do like the whole thing again. We'll do, you know, newbie podcast, live feed type stuff. And then we'll do like how to register. I think that'll be a huge video. You know, yes. I, I, you probably, know I probably need to do that right now. Yeah. Because uh, 1.0 registration is the fifth. Oh, is it? And that's something I was going to look at too, because I know what June 12th through the 18th is the first one. So, yeah. Yeah. So you got to get registered, uh, Friday registration drops. So well, let's start, uh, let's start front loading our Rocky mountain stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly right. That's right. So change all of your, uh, videos from last year. Just change it to this year's date. You already yeah, have your videos ready to go. <laughs> yes. well, actually, you know, we'll take one. a small section of hashtags from last year and put them in my new ones for this year because those are still going to be hot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You so you just fresh bread. Yep. And then what I'll do is I'll go back through my Rocky Mountain Race Week playlist and I'll start dropping, you know, RMRW 2021 tags and wording. And especially once the dates drop for 2.0, which is the one in out of Oklahoma, uh, which we're definitely going on. So, yep. you know, start feeding up to that. So. Good strategy. Well, hey, do you guys have anything else you want to share with everybody? Or we just passed our 30 minute mark here. I know that's yeah. usually cut off. So, right. Um, I, I just want to say there are a lot of upcoming channels, um, a lot of guys that I talk to almost daily that are frustrated with their growth, are frustrated with they're just not seeing what they should. You know, one thing that folks out there that are doing it on their own don't understand is like, for us three, I mean, we talk every day through, through text, you know, sometimes on the phone, things like that. So you've got to get that grouping of people that will listen to your complaints, but also that you're going to have ideas to bounce off of, thumbnails to bounce off of. Um, today, uh, Paul with Ingenuity, he dropped like a, almost like a B-roll video recap and he had it titled, you know, uh, Honda CRX mid engine Honda CRX full suspension done. And so I watched it as soon as it came up, uh, he premiered it, but he wasn't in the premiere to answer any questions. Right. So he's like, man, I didn't even know that that's what that meant. So all that little stuff like that, you wouldn't know unless somebody, one that is either in it 
like we are all the time, or that has done it before you. So, you know, try and focus on channels, like follow people that are growing, follow people that are in your Facebook groups that are in the same kind of content you create and become friends with those folks. I mean, Eric lives 16 hours from me. You know, I mean, Paul with Ingenuity is in Pennsylvania. I mean, he he's not close. It's not like he can bounce over and we can work on the car and, and go over strategy. I mean, like you have to message it. There were a lot of folks, uh, I was messaging with somebody yesterday from Australia about it. They were wanting to start their channel. So just get out there, you know, ask questions, figure out what you want to do with your channel and let it go, man. Like, yeah, don't be afraid to reach out to people. That was yeah. the number one thing. I've, I will reach out to, I've reached, reached out to Jack Black because he has a, a dart. I'm like, <laughs> hey, if he responds, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yep. I'm, not, I'm not afraid to talk to anybody. I will talk yep. to absolutely everybody. We're going to keep networking. But like you said, helping each other, getting a group of dudes or girls, whatever you're into, mm -hmm. and get them to help you out. I I get a notification and I'm always looking. I saw Narc part, he popped one up. Well, it was unlisted, but I could see it. <laughs> it wasn't on putting the magic formula in there, but I was watching the video ahead of time. And yep. I looked at it and said, hey, it's unlisted. So I, hey man, just let me you know your video is unlisted because as we know, by the time you put it together and you're ready to load oh, yeah. it, you know, your brain's mush. And you could you could skip a step like that, which would make it just sit in a bucket and it wouldn't go nowhere. Yeah. So, so. I've been going back through the small view videos, like videos less than 100 views on the channel, doing tags and stuff like that. And I've seen that on three or four that I've really, I was, you know, I never even looked back at them again. So, so it's just it's just wild that. Uh, sorry, I'll go back to my frustration because there was one channel that had 40 videos and he was frustrated he hadn't. He wasn't going anywhere. And I try and tell people, listen, it took us 400 videos before we got our break. You know, I don't know how many videos we've put out since Rocky Mountain Race Week, but I mean, it was 400 and something videos before we were monetized. So, you know, wrap your mind around that. If I had known what I know now, we would be, we'd have 50,000 subscribers. And so now I'm trying to go back through and build all of that again. So do it right from the beginning, like I say all the time, and then find you a group of people that, that can help you grow. Perfect advice. Yeah. All right, boys. Well, hey, I'm going to let you guys rock and roll. I appreciate everyone who watches this. You'll catch it on each one of our channels at, at whenever we end up dropping them. I'm going to go ahead and drop this one on Thursday. Uh, I got my live tomorrow on Wednesday. But uh, I appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Brainstorm Sessions. See you later. Thanks.